Welcome. This is Mathtastic. I'm Tracy Ashbridge and I've been working in the field of learning support for the last 20 years. And one of the things I've noticed is that there's lots and lots of resources available to support children with their literacy development and there's lots to support them with their social development. But there's very little off the shelf evidence based materials that you can use to teach maths for students who are really struggling. They may or may not have diagnosed dyscalculia, but if they're having trouble with maths, this is the way forward for you. So let's take a little bit more of a look at Mathtastic. So Mathtastic I've designed from the research, looking at what do students who are having difficulties need, and also what are the key components that stop them being able to move forwards with their maths. So I've based it around the eight number sense concepts, and each book at each different level will cover different numbers. So the first one goes one to 10, the next one goes uh, numbers from one to 50, and the one after that will go one, numbers one to 100, but still sticking with the spiraling through the same number sense concepts, but taking them with higher numbers. But really making sure we've got that number sense foundation, because if we have that number sense foundation, then students will be able to do more than just solve algorithms. They'll actually understand why they're doing the maths. And that's really, really important, and the research is backing that. So let's take a look inside. So for the first few pages, the first section, it takes you through the different lessons of Mathtastic. So the lessons are split up into different parts. They're split up into um, problem-solving thinking tasks at the beginning to get students thinking mathematically, supervising sections, counting, number sense, actually teaching that concept for the week or for the, for the module, um, a game, some word problems, some number problems, and then more games. So the idea of this is that you can work through the module, the lesson around the number sense concept, over one lesson or two lessons or however long it takes for your student to get that concept. There's lots of ideas there that you can use to work through that. And there's also activities that can be done at home with the parents for extra practice. And that was important that I included that because that practice through the week and playing games is something parents can do and hopefully isn't stress, too stressful for the student or the parent. The next section is all the resources that you're going to need. They're all here for you to print off and, and create. There's also, um, they're also available as a PDF on the Mathtastic website and the password is on the second page of the book. And then the next section are the number sense um, problem, number problem solving pages. So they, these aren't for the students to write on. I suggest you grab a scrapbook for the students to write into and there's some instructions in here how to do that. But um, each, each page has different problems for the students to solve based on the number sense they're working on, but also going back and revisiting the ones that they've already covered. So you'll see as they work through, if they've already encountered doubles, there will be doubles practice on that page so that they can practice those. I don't expect you to do all of these in one lesson, and it says that in the book, um, but work through the ones that you think are relevant. And it may be that later on you come back to them or you send some home for the parents. Again, this is available so you can download it from the Mathtastic website behind that password page. And the last section are all the number sense problem solving. So worded problems. Because one of the things that's come out of the research is that students can solve an algorithm, but actually in a real world context, they've got no idea how to go about doing that. So I've based these on the cognitive guided maths instruction. There's um, 11 different ways that a maths problem can be pre um, presented for addition and subtraction. So that's what these are based upon. So there's 11 in each section. And there's also at the bottom of the page in the small print, alternative numbers that you as a teacher could put in instead to do that same problem a couple of times to really get the understanding of how to solve the problems that are worded in that way. So there are one of these um, sections for each of the different number sense strategies. Again, I don't expect that you'll necessarily get through all of these. You may do a few with you as a teacher in a lesson. You may send home a couple for the student. There is a tracking page so you can actually track which pages um, the students are finding quite easy to do and which, find, which actual of these presentations they're finding quite tricky to understand the language because language is really important in understanding maths. So, Here's Mathtastic, go grab yourself a copy, let me know how you go.